Morgan and family here. We got a fun review for you today. So Bullet Safe um, contacted me a few months ago. It's been about eight or nine months now. <laughs> but uh, they wanted me to do a review of these um, vests. And this is a backpack panel. And so we're going to talk a little bit about these. I want you to head down to bulletsafe.com in the description and check out everything that they have. I think that these are going to be pretty dang good. These are both just um, panels. This is a vest. This is a panel and they will stop up to 44 Magnum. These will not stop um, high powered, you know, rifles, you know, two, two, three, five, five, six, stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and do a review. We're going to, this is going to be pretty fun. I don't have a dummy, but I do have a watermelon and I have my kids here. We're going to shoot a 22. We're going to shoot a nine and we're going to uh, shoot a 45. And we're also going to stab it because this one um, is uh, rated to be stab proof. So we're also going to do that. And one last thing, I am going to shoot it with an arrow. This should be really fun. Let's do it. And to be honest, you need knife to shoot your watermelon and taste your bullets. Does it hit your watermelon? Yeah, it means you need to throw your knife at your watermelon. That's really smart, smart kid. All right, let's do it. You wanna start something? I got a short fuse, we can do this. Let's go, go get him. I just tried All right, I'll help you out. I just did, yes, yeah, small. Oh my God. So, this is not the, um, <laughs> This is the backpack panel. This is actually not the stab proof, but I wanted to stab it anyway, just to kind of see what it would do. And actually coming at it and stabbing it, nothing happened. But of course, when I was slicing it, if you come over here, when I was slicing it, it was going through the fabric and it was going through a little bit, but actually you can see the plastic there and it wasn't getting through that. So that's actually pretty nice. It's not made, that, that, the backpack panel said it wasn't made to be stab proof. But they're actually Mom, working pretty imagine? good. Now this one is made to be stab proof. So I do want to go ahead and stab that. Let me try mine. Let me try mine, Mom. So again, the fabric is getting stabbed. Here, she's going to try. The fabric is getting stabbed and that's okay. I don't care if the fabric gets stabbed. <laughs> my, my, mine doesn't do very well. But you also want to make sure that it's, you know, like, ah, someone's really coming at you. Whew. That's some good therapy right there. But yeah, I mean, I can see where I was stabbing, but even the direct stabs, I'm only kind of getting through the fabric. And as you can see, you know, again, we're getting through the fabric. Who cares? Right there, I can kind of feel the slash that it's getting through the plastic, but the actual, um, the actual protection is not getting uh, penetrated, which is good. This is Kid Rogue's 22. We're gonna go ahead and start from the smallest to the largest that we have. All right, let's do this. Oh, I can aim with this thing. Okay, we're gonna shoot the, um, the backpack over the watermelon first. The backpack okay, one, two. All right. Did you just do it? There's a little tiny hole right there. Let's go and check the watermelon. Da -da! Nope. nope, didn't even go through. Wonderful. Now we're gonna shoot the vest over the watermelon. 10. Hold on. I think, all right, I think these are the two shots. Da -da -da! Watermelon looks untouched. Hello. <laughs> so that's good. That's Hello. really good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, get up to a nine and forty-five. Now I'm going to shoot it with the nine millimeter. All right, that was the shot. Dun, dun, dun. So, <clears throat> backup number, please. So, <laughs> it did hit it, but 
it kind of looks like the bullet just pushed into them. Now, something you have to understand about vests and or especially vests like this that don't have an actual pl a plate in it is the fact that you might get some bruises if something shoots at you. This is actually would be called an impact concussion. So this is okay. You want to get bruised, not shot. You know what I mean? Not a, you want a bruise, not a penetration. So let's go ahead and just turn this around for the 45. Okay, husband's gonna shoot the 45. And then stand back. Okay. Everybody ready? Yep, ready. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, that one up there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, which one was it? That one? I think it was right here. I that one's mine. Think. That one was mine. Was it? Yep. There it is. It yeah. was, it was that one. Yeah. That was me. So again, yeah. 45. Again. Yeah, he's bruised, but it didn't make it through. Yep. All I right. it again. Now we're going to go ahead and do the 9 and 45 on the backpack panel. Okay, husband's going to do the 45 on the backpack panel. Whoa. <laughs> so right there's the... There's the impact. There's the impact. Oh, yeah. It's, it's nice and bruised. Yee. Oh, well. What do you know? No impact though. That's good. That's great. That's exactly what we want to see. I can feel. I can feel the inside of this is concave like that. Well, where it where it absorbed the impact. Yep. So another thing about these soft panels and vests and things is that um, you want to understand that when it is shot at, it's useless. Like, I won't be able to just go now, put this in my backpack and use yeah, it again. If it gets hit one time, you want to consider it compromised. Yeah, it's done. So, but that's okay. You know, that's the point of these vests. It's to save your life for that one time, right? All right, I'm going to go ahead and shoot with the nine now. Right off the bat, no penetration, which is good. This uh, <laughs> this uh, is not doing well. <laughs> it's good though, but there's no penetration. Actually, after a couple shots, I'm actually surprised with how well it's still holding up. <laughs> I gotta say, um, the watermelon fell over a little bit, but oh, there it is. Oh, did you did you turn it? Yeah, I turned. Okay, it. yeah. So that's got to be the impact then. <laughs> I I really. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how many shots it's getting taken. It's getting stabbed, it's getting... I could do an arrow with this too. I, I don't know if the arrow would go through this, but we can try it. Um, a 45 and a nine, and it's, it's still, it stopped both. Uh, that's pretty impressive, I gotta say. Now it's time to shoot them with an arrow, just for fun, see what happens. All right. It definitely penetrated all the way through. So, it's good to know. <laughs> but you know, I mean, maybe you just get like a little hole in you instead of a big hole, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it did slow it down a little bit for sure because the arrow would normally be going through here instead of here, so. Oh man, it's tough to get this out too. That's good, that's a good sign. Oh. Woo, now. The vest. All right. So this stopped it way better. There's absolutely no penetration at all. I want to make sure you guys are seeing that. Absolutely no penetration. None. It actually stopped. It actually stopped the arrow. So that's impressive. And it was really easy to pull out. It actually stopped the arrow. No penetration at all. Very impressive. So they, these may be soft, but you can actually put plates inside. You can put a plate in here and you can put a plate oops, in the back. Ah, yo, man, <laughs> there we go. You put a plate in the back. So that's nice. So you can get this vest, the soft vest, that can stop up to 44. And then you can get plates that go in the front and the back that can stop uh, larger calibers. All right, finally, here's what an extra small looks like on me. I'm about five foot two, about 115 pounds. 
around here. You really you want to make sure that it's tightened enough to where it's actually covering your chest. I have to say, as a woman, really quickly, I'm a small chested woman, but it does feel comfortable even with saying that. Um, you know, but here's what it looks like. It's pretty comfortable to move in. You know, I can, I can lift my hands up, move them around. There we go. It doesn't feel heavy, but unless, you know, you add those plate carriers, uh, the, the plates, in order to actually make it, you know, a little bit heavier and to withstand the higher caliber. Um, but overall, I'm really impressed. You know, I can breathe. <gasps> there are adjustments, easy Velcro adjustments on the front and on the sides. And again, you can put those plates in there and then the plates will, you know, you could adjust differently with that, but. And like any good test, we have to test it to failure, right? We gotta make sure this, it fails. <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. We had to use the green tips. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted to see. Well, that's done for. <laughs> I actually want to see how it reacted to it though. Wanna pick it up? So, there's... Okay, definitely went through it, as you can see from the decimated watermelon. <laughs> but that's okay. These were not meant to stop two, two, three, and five, five, six. Kids are getting a little antsy. It's a little warm, and it's time to uh, finish this test off. But I want you to go check out Bullet Safe. Uh, link down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Wait. Conquer to tomorrow. I prepare you today. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So you warm it when it's bolting. So that you just shoot it. You warm it when then you just want it with your bit rifle. <laughs> and you warm it when it's half bolted in piece that you can see that it's a little bit dusty. But still do it to eat for animals. And so, uh, so we'll talk to you later. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.